Welcome to the Idaho Fish and Game MK Nature Center. Today you will be learning about the owls of Idaho and their habitats here at the Nature Center. We will talk about the different adaptations owls have to help them survive. We will listen to different owl sounds and then you will take a walk around the Nature Center to see if you can spot any owls and learn about the ways we provide habitat here. In order to have the best chance of survival, owls have numerous adaptations. An adaptation is a change in an animal's body or behavior to help them survive. They have great eyesight and hearing, sharp talons for catching prey, feathers that allow them to fly silently and blend in with their surroundings, and they mostly sit around all day. We will talk about all of these adaptations in more detail next. Can you think of another name for a talon? What about claws or big fingernails? Owls have talons or claws that they use to catch and kill their prey. They swoop down to catch their prey with their talons and then they squeeze it to kill it. Take a look at the picture on the slide. Do you see how large the owl's eyes look? When compared to you and me, owls have large eyes and smaller skulls, whereas we have bigger skulls and smaller eyes. Owls cannot move their eyes like we can. Instead, they move their heads around to be able to see different directions. They can't spin their heads completely around, but they can get pretty close. They also have binocular vision, which means they can see far away things very well, but cannot see close up things too good. Notice the combed edges on the owl feather on the left. This helps the owls fly silently through the air. This is to make sure that their prey does not hear them coming. Take a look at the picture on the right. Doesn't the shape of the owl's face look like a disc? This disc creates a bowl shape that catches sound and allows the owls to hear very well. Try putting your hand in a cup shape around your ear. Can you hear better? Now take your hand away and see which way you can hear better. You may have seen owls with tufts of feathers on the top of their heads. Even though these look a lot like ears, they are only feathers. We will talk more about their ears next, but the next time you see an owl, remember that those tufts of feathers are not their ears. It may be difficult to see owls in the pictures on the slide. That is because they use their feathers to camouflage with the trees that they are hiding in. I bet today on your nature walk, you will walk past an owl and never even know it. They blend in very well to the tree bark and are silent. Like we talked about before, the tufts of feathers on the top of the owl's heads are not their ears. Instead, their ears are on the side of their heads much like ours. Touch your nose and run your finger back to your ear. Notice that it is a straight line. This is the same for an owl. This is why the feathers being in a bowl shape around the owl's face helps them hear so well. The disc shape catches the sound and it goes right into their ears on the side of their head. If you see an owl, you won't be able to see their ears. You would have to peel back the feathers like in the picture to see the opening. Another interesting feature of owl's ears are that sometimes they are shaped differently. One side might have a larger hole towards the bottom and the other side of the same owl may have a larger hole higher up. This helps the owls to pinpoint sounds better when they're trying to catch their prey. Owls have a sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary means they rest all day long and don't move very much. You could even call them a couch potato. They do this so that they can save all of their energy to hunt at night and stay hidden from predators that might want to eat them during the day. They look around at their hunting area all day long to create a map in their heads. This helps them at night when it is dark to fly around the area and easily catch their dinner. Now we will listen to some owl sounds. I bet you've heard an owl before. They make a hoot hoot noise, right? Well, some owls do make that classic hoot noise, but there are quite a few that do not sound like that. Let's listen to a few. This is a barn owl, and they do not make the hoot sound. They sound like they are screeching, and if you were in a barn at night, it might be scary to hear that sound. They live on every continent except for Antarctica, which means they are found in the most places in the world. They generally eat mice, which is why you can find them in barns. Let's listen to the sounds that they make.
Boreal owls are cavity nesters, so you might find them in snags. Snags are dead trees that have not fallen, and animals often carve a hole in them and create a cavity for an owl. They do not have any ear tufts, and they have a distinct yellow bill. Let's listen to their sound. Make sure to see our burrowing owl outside the building before you leave. You will notice that he stays near the ground most of the time. This is because they nest underground. He was also hit by a car and cannot fly properly, which is another reason you won't see him on any of the higher perches. They are crepuscular, which means that they are active during dawn and dusk. You may know the word nocturnal. Nocturnal means an animal is active when it is dark outside. The burrowing owl likes it when it is dim, just before the dark or just after the dark of the night. A burrowing owl eats mostly insects. Let's listen to the sound that they make. You can see the barred owl's eyes are very dark. They also use a cavity or an old hawk's nest for their nest. They are nocturnal, which means they are out all night when it is dark. When you listen to their sound, it might sound like they are saying, Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? Listen now and see if you can hear it. Next we have the flammulated owl. Flammulated means red and you can see that they are reddish in color. Just like the barred owl, they also have very dark eyes and are cavity nesters. Flammulated owls eat insects. Now let's listen to their sound. Great gray owls have been known to use other birds' nests as their own. They are very large owls, and if you look closely, it looks like they have a bow tie on. They like to be in the meadows or the forest openings, and they hunt for small mammals. Let's listen to their sound. <coughs> You have probably seen a great horned owl at some point. They are very aggressive birds and have been known to eat other owls. They are the only animal that regularly eats skunks. P.U. The females are larger than the males, but the males have a deeper voice. Let's listen to their sound. <laughs> The long-eared owl's name might be confusing because it has very large feather tufts at the top of its head, but remember, these are not their ears. These owls are very slender and they have stick nests. Like many other owls, they are nocturnal. Like we talked about before, they have those asymmetrical ear holes, which means one hole may be higher and one hole on the other side might be lower. Let's take a listen to the sounds that they make. The northern hawk owl is nocturnal and can catch a mouse under a foot of snow. That's pretty incredible. Let's listen to the sound that it makes. Northern pygmy owls are fierce little birds. They are the smallest owl in Idaho. Look at the back of their head. Do you see those two spots? 
They kind of look like eyes, don't they? They use these spots to confuse predators. If a predator were, were to try to attack them, they would hurt the owl's back instead of the front of their face, which would give them a better chance to survive. These spots also make them look bigger and meaner. Let's listen to the sound that they make. Northern sawwet owls have asymmetrical ears like the long-eared owls. They are also quite small. Listen to the sound they make and imagine hearing that sound all night long while you're trying to sleep camping. You may recognize this owl if you have ever seen Harry Potter. Snowy owls are the largest owl in North America. They can eat 1,600 lemming per year. Now let's listen to their sound. <coughs> the western screech owl is nocturnal. This means that they like to be out when it is dark. They like to nest in cavities, or you can find them in a backyard nest box. Let's listen to their sound. Next we have the short-eared owl. Do you think that the feathers on top of their head are the ears? If you said no, you are correct. Let's listen to the sound that they make. <laughs> Owls have a very interesting way of eating. They will eat their prey and it will go into their crop. In the crop, they will squeeze the food and squeeze out all the blood and guts. Ew. This is the part that they can eat. They cannot eat the bones or the fur, so that stays behind in the crop. They then throw up the bones and the fur in something we call an owl pellet. They do this every single day. Here are a few things you might find in an owl pellet a pygmy shrew, a mouse, a vole, or even a crayfish. Here's an owl pellet that was found at the nature center with a crayfish in it. If you look really closely, you can see the crayfish claw. Thank you for coming to the Idaho Fish and Game MK Nature Center, and I hope you enjoy your stream walk today. Be sure to visit the museum on your way out.